Tesla was such a big commotion when it first got hype in 2023. The insane yield, the promised growth of Tesla, the ability to live on a small amount of capital due to the insane dividends. But now, where'd all the Tesla fans go? It's down about 25% year to date, and you think this would be an amazing time to purchase for all of our dividend fans out there. Is this the opportunity we're all waiting for to retire early? Or is it time to move our sights onto something else? We will check out these questions in this video. As usual, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Knowledge. Now, since Tesla's inception, it has dropped 57.8% at the type of this recording. This is despite Tesla basically being at break even at the current point when the ETF released on November 25th right here. You see that was the first date for Tesla open. When we have Tesla on trading view, even when we adjust for dividends, which is what this ADG button does, it's assuming you're reinvesting the dividend, there are very few times you would have been break even on Tesla. And that's only if you bought within the short time period from January 2023. That's really the only time you would have been about break even on your Tesla price with all these dividends reinvested. And again, in trading view, you can click AEDJ and that will adjust for dividends so you can see the dividend price. And this is without dividends reinvested. You can check this out for yourself on TradingView. You can click it on and off and see if where your break-even would price be if you reinvested your dividends using this little button right here on TradingView. There's a very small time period where you would have been profitable, and that was only in January of 2023 and about May of 2023 as well. And Tesla is not doing too hot as well, but even with all the money reinvested, it did not cover the downfall. And then you can go, well, John, if I just reinvest the dividends, it'll pay itself off, won't it? Will it really? <laughs> Is that what the chart says? The chart says you lost money unless you bought in these two time periods. Besides that, you lost money even if you reinvested all of the dividends. If you didn't, you lost a lot of money. And what about if you didn't reinvest the dividends as all? How much are you down? 57%. You'd be at a major loss and would have just fared putting the money in straight into whatever you wanted to buy or another asset you wanted. And guys, the Tesla dividends just keep getting smaller and smaller. I got it up right here. You cannot look at this trajectory and tell me the dividends are getting bigger. They are definitely getting smaller each month as they go. It used to be 80 cent range, dollar range, then it was 50 cent range, uh, 60, and now we're back in a 40 like it was back in 2023. These just keep getting smaller and smaller. Even if Tesla drops to $5 and let's say it had a 10% 30 day yield, which would just be absolutely insane, 10% of $5 is 50 cents. It's not going to recover your bags if Tesla is dropping more than in half in over a year. And why are we pretending you're collecting all these dividends? You have to still have to pay the expense ratio, which is about 0.99%. It's not much, but it's another 0.99%. And I'm not a tax expert, but these dividends will be taxed depending on your tax bracket and your gains for the year, unless you're holding in a tax advantage account. So there goes maybe another 15% from your dividends, from your payments. Pfft just gone because you want to collect these dividends and lose money. So the real question is, in what world does this investable vehicle make sense when we also account for taxes and the expense ratio? Oh, but we all wanted free money, didn't we? And free dividends. Well, I guess you should have bought NVIDIA instead because that thing has been on a tear. Look at this bad boy just ripping up and with the adjusted dividends, smoking really good. By my opinion, it's only a matter of time before this explodes and it just tears back down again. But I might eat my words on this one. NVIDIA has been on a tear this year, which I can't deny. Now, guys, even when we back test on Tesla with all of the dividends reinvested up to today, the results are not stellar. You would have been better just holding Tesla this whole time. Tesla would have outperformed, and you probably wouldn't have lost money if you bought on December 31st, 2022. Now, the annoying thing about Portfolio Visualizer is it's that's when this starts Tesla when Tesla actually started in November, and then you lost the big drawdown from December. So these aren't accurate results. So if we go to a different dividend calculator and type in Tesla up here and check, we can see this is a big difference. Dividends reinvested per share, and our total return is minus 13% if we bought day one, and our annual average return is minus 11%. <laughs> what a great investment vehicle, and you're definitely not going to pay off this stock with the dividends reinvested. It's not going to work. You're just going to lose money. We have just been better holding Tesla if you're that bullish on Tesla. Stop getting taxed, stop paying this expense ratio, and then stop losing money. So the question is, is Tesla a buy? Probably not. They make a lot of money off of losing you guys' money. I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at the yield max funds. I think it's a fun idea, 
but I really don't think if you have sunk a ton of money into these ETFs, you've really thought it through, honestly. If you are majorly bullish on Tesla, you might as well own Tesla. If you want something that pays good dividends, this is not the way because you're just shrinking your capital so much and the dividends aren't going to recover the share price. Your cost basis is going to erode faster than the dividend you can collect, which we can see on TradingView. When we reinvest and adjust for our dividends, it just goes down. There's very few periods where you were in profit and it's only if you bought in these two time periods. These are all going to crash and burn at some point. So what is the lesson? Stay away from these crazy high dividend yield max ETFs. Stay away from these funds. You should stay away because I found the perfect growth and dividend portfolio that beats anything you've seen on YouTube. It beats the stock market. It beats any type of split ETF portfolio you have seen. And check it out right here. Thanks.